Hey, what's up? Matt Wyatt here. This is a guy from the SEC that led the league in sacks last year. And if you didn't pay close attention, you may not know much about him, right? Because he's not getting a whole lot of pub outside of Starkville, Mississippi. But here's why you need to know about this guy. Player spotlight, defensive end, Montez Sweat. All right, so the story is he's 6'6", 245, from Stone Mountain, Georgia. Pretty highly recruited. Went all the way to Michigan State. Played early in his career. Had great promise. Showed it there. Eventually left. Went to JUCO for a year in 2016. And then last year, his first year at Mississippi State, 2017. Ten and a half sacks. Led the league in that category. Sweat's this really tall, lanky, rangy, long arms, big old muscled out, buffed up defensive end pass rusher who can really run. Here's one of his sacks against Arkansas. Here he is. They're going to go play action and bring the tight end over, try to block him in protection. So he kind of comes off the ball and reads it initially when he sees back go that way and kind of feels that pressure coming here. But when he sees pass, watch him eat up this block of the tight end. He's so strong in his upper body, and you can't really see that with a guy who's really lean, but he just shoves him right back to the quarterback, and now he's got him. Typical uh, six-man protection here and a four-man front, and he's matched up one-on-one -on -one with an offensive tackle. And this is two players who are going to play in the NFL. The offensive tackle is going to get a little bit of a head start just before the snap because he's expecting outside rush given the play that they've called. And watch Sweat still get to the outside here, but he does it by knocking the offensive lineman off of his balance. So he's underneath and got underneath leverage, knocking him up onto his heels with that strong upper body. Tackle recovers really nicely, gets back into him. But now the next move He's going to grab him with this left arm and pull him down left-handed, and now he's free to the QB. Here's another sack for Sweat against uh, Arkansas. This time they're going to kind of pass rush and drop him in there and drop back stuff. But he beats him upfield. Watch him speed to get deep. So by the time the quarterback is completing his drop, Sweat, who's lined up here where they snap the football, now he's seven yards deep, and look at him set this angle to cut back and get to the quarterback. That is, he's got the tackle completely turned. Right now, offensive tackle, as his quarterback setting, has got his back completely turned to the field, trying to get help, but now he's just going to come back around and inside and get a free path to the QB for his second sack of the ball game. When you watch it from behind, end zone shot, you see the tackle. Now he's trying his best and knows it's speed rush coming out here, and they're trying to give him some help with the fullback. But so quick, he's gone from here to now seven yards deep that he has set this angle for him to cut back and go inside. Some of the folks that are already looking ahead of the 2019 draft already have him in like the top 10 pass rusher categories. The question is, is he a defensive end and puts on weight in a 4-3 or is he kind of a linebacker, tall, outside guy in a 3-4? I mean, he's not the 280-pound run stopper. He's a slasher. He's a speed rusher. All right, here he is against Texas A&M. They've lined him up at linebacker in a nickel defense with a three-man front coming off the edge. It totally confuses the offensive line, and he's unblocked to the quarterback. Speed to line up at linebacker and even go in coverage if he needs to. Here's something they did a lot last year is they line him up next to one of those good defensive tackles, in this case Simmons, and take the tackle out so that Sweat could then loop to the inside. He'd take on centers and produce a little of that inside pressure. So you got a twist up top with Montez Sweat. And initially, he gets popped by two offensive linemen, takes on both. But because you got other teammates coll collapsing the pocket, now the quarterback's going to try to escape, and Sweat is going to be able to run him down. Gets a credit for a sack on this now Here's play. a similar twist against Auburn, but out of a three-man front. So he's twisting with what lines up like a linebacker and just shoves the center right back to the quarterback. Teammates get there as well. But he's a big reason for it. See it from behind what the quarterback sees. It's a three-man front, one, two, and three here. This is actually a defensive end, but they've got him lined up in a three-four linebacker position. So they're going to twist him with that stand-up linebacker here on this three-man front. When he comes back around, it's the center who has the job to pick up Montez Sweat in this twist. And Sweat's just so strong if you're not on balance completely He's going to knock you back into the quarterback's lap, and that's what he does right here to 50. Now he's getting some help. The lineman is, but he's still on his heels, and the play's blown up. 
And after he gets chased, Sweat's the one's going to actually get the credit for the sack. Entirely different situation against Louisville here where they line him up a defensive end, but it's a five-down lineman in a heavy package in what is a third-and-two situation in the red zone. So you got three defensive tackles. He's an in, he's an in. you got linebackers walked up in there, so five with their hand down. But he's still going to come free because they try to read him on the play. Flo is this way, going to try to get guys open in play action in the pass. But what they've done is left nine, Montez Sweat, on block. So watch him force the issue. He's frozen right here, and the mesh is just starting to happen. Watch him jump all over it. Didn't go for the fake, and now he's free to the quarterback, and he's long enough and athletic enough to make this an issue for a guy like Lamar Jackson, and it results in a sack. Watch it from behind. You can see how quickly it happens for Sweat coming off the edge. Again, you know, he's positioned the way that he wants to right here. Because of where he is, if this is actually a read on the run play, you're going to give the football. But they've called play action to get him out, and the front and the alignment and his athleticism are going to blow this up. Able to get there, it's covered behind him, and it's a big play. He had a chance to leave early last year. If you pay attention, some of these draft analysts, when they look ahead of the 2019 draft, they have him way on up there, rated highly among the pass rushers in the country. Decided to come back for his senior season and has a new coach. Bob Shoup takes over the defense at Mississippi State. So new coach, we'll see about the scheme. How does he fit? Maybe sort of a new system, but he's also got some new players around him. They add in Chauncey Rivers, the junior college Georgia transfer, who's now eligible. He's a big time player, also on that defensive front. I'm Matt Wyatt. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Radio Wyatt. You can catch me there. Appreciate that. Hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Radio Wyatt. And of course, subscribe here to my YouTube channel. Appreciate that as well. All right. See you next time.